Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to more Digimon Survive. Or as I call it, Digimon, we are put in jail, so I need to call my fucking lawyer. Also, fuck Shuji. Also, thanks, Kaito, we are in jail because of you. God damn it, I'm too young to be in jail. So, yeah, we're in jail now. I, 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 this is about it. We're in jail. We're in fucking jail. We are fucked. We are royally fucking fucked. Hello, mod. Floor. Hmm. This block looks like it should move, but it won't budge. Do you think there is some trick to it? Let's keep looking all around. Yeah, I'll see what I can find too. I watched the first VOD, you said Shuji is your spirit animal. Yeah, now I say Shuji can get go fuck himself. <laughs> Good thinking, you never know what you might find. A pillar. Hmm, everything seems normal here. Uh, it's no use. We're never going to find any clues about how to get out of here. Try not to get too wound up. Let's just stay calm and keep searching. Oh, shut up! No, shut up, Shuji! I'm gonna shit in your mouth, you piece of shit! This can't be happening. I have to find a way or out. I have to get everyone out right now. Shuji seems like he's not doing so well. I feel bad for poor Lockman too. I feel mostly bad for Lockman. Fuck Shuji. I wonder if it's because nothing's been going in Shuji's way. It seemed like he was finally starting to settle down earlier. But I guess he's pretty shaken up after all. Iron bars. If I could just get one of these things. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. I doubt even I could remove one of those bars. I don't think we'll be escaping through here. I mean, Lockman is pretty small. Uh, he could, like, budge through those bars, I guess. You're right, let's keep looking. Well, we're fucked. We checked the floor, the pillars, the bars, and the walls, but found no sign of an exit. Man, I give up. <laughs> Those bars can't hold me. I'll bust right through them. Kaito, what are you doing? Take this! Kaito, chill. Hey, wait, stop. That noise is really scary. Scary. You're upsetting Haru and Miyuki. Just so you know, Haru and Miyuki upset me very much as well, but you don't hear me complaining about it, right, Relabramon? Just deal with it. I don't think so. That hurts my ears. Yeah, mine too. Oh, poor Lopmon. Kaito, give it a rest. You're going to hurt yourself. And it's not like you're actually going to kick your way through sturdy iron bars. I mean, if he kicks hard enough, and met enough times, so what else am I supposed to do? Well, now, if it isn't more creatures who have suffered at the hands of a royal holiness. Who are you? Show yourself. Oh, Grandpa Mon. Do not be alarmed. I am no enemy of yours. Hmm? Wow, look at all that hair! Who are you? Now, now, no need to get so flustered. I can explain everything in time. Yes, all in good time. But first things first, I should release you from this cell. Thank you, Grandpa Mon. Huh? Well, that was easy. Come along, this way. He really just let us out? Who is this old man? That's a hobbit. Grandpa Hobbit. Very good now. The exit uh, is over this way. We all have to sell, as the old man suggested, but... Hey, shouldn't we really just be following this guy? It could be another trap. What's that? Am I so suspicious? Yikes! He heard me! How can you expect us to trust a monster like you? Shuji, you don't have to put it like that. 
Yeah, if nothing else, he at least let us out of the cell, didn't he? But how do you know he's not taking us some place even worse? Have you all forgotten what happened yesterday? Remember how Kenimon tricked us? How much we suffered because we trusted her? Dude, that's your like... That's that's on you. You you just follow the mummy milkers without thinking straight, my dude. That's on you. Well, no, but Shuji does have a point. Shuji has no point. Stop following the mummy milkers. Think clear for once, goddammit. Mummy milkers are temporary, but thinking clear is permanent, my dude. We did get tricked by Arukeni one yesterday, and the results were terrible. But should we let that make us paranoid? Well, I want Fawcett to come with me. What is it you propose to do? We don't have many options. If we want to leave, I feel like we will have to trust him. But Shuji could be right about this being a trap. In which case, should we find our own way out or wait until Mew is in a better mood? I will follow the old man. Well, I think we should trust this guy and follow his lead. Takuma, how can you decide that so easily? Because you don't want to take this route, so I will take it. Nothing about the decision was easy. But don't you think he's letting us out of the, the cell without telling Miu and Siakomon? He earns him some trust. But you can't prove this isn't a trap. Maybe not. I, I just feel like we can trust this guy. I think so too. Too. It's unusual for those children to offer an opinion without being asked. Kids can be pretty good at initiate in need to eating, into eating, this sort of thing. I think I'm convinced. And I got the hiccups. Grrr. If if anything happens, be ready to run for it. Now then, shall I resume escorting you out of this place? Yes, please. But would you mind telling us about yourself as we go? Yeah, I would feel safer if we knew more about you. Very well then. I suppose I can tell you about myself along the way. Ah! Start with your name! Tell us your name! Uh, Maud, can I have some water? I got a bad case of hiccups. I'm Gigimon. So, Gigimon. Thank you. Sorry to ask you this again, but why did you let us out of that cell? <sighs> yeah, aren't you one of Mew's servants or whatever? Ho ho! I'm actually the one who was more or less in charge here until recently. You mean you are like the old king? Oh no, I simply tried to ensure that small and weak creatures could live here in peace. But then why is Mew the queen? All the little monsters we ran into here were scared of her. I'm afraid those I looked up are rather simple-minded than gullible. They were easily taken in. Yeah, I can see that. Her audience as companion is quite sharp. She pretends to have been turned into a rock. Then fact the recovery. The others now believe her audience has to be a sorceress. Wait, you mean all Siakomon did was open and close her shell? That's what they meant when they said she can turn things into stone. It wasn't even some powerful monster ability? Wow, are the monsters that live here really that dense? Oof! And why didn't you do something? Uh, weren't you the one who had been taking care of them? Well, they all seemed like they were having so much fun, I didn't see the harm in it. I took it as an opportunity to retire. Yeah. Meanwhile, look at how things turned out. You should have stepped up earlier, right Kaito? Nah, if anything, I feel like I owe the, this guy an apology. I'm sorry my sister caused you so much trouble. Well, I hardly even know what to say to that. Don't worry about it. No, you don't understand, you see, I was rather enjoying myself too. You were? Yes, you see, her audience doesn't do any sort of cleaning or picking up after herself. It's giving me the perfect excuse to help care for the others even more. Ah, Jijimon is a cool guy. What? It's like you're the stereotype of some kindly old man. Because Jijimon is a kindly old man. He also has a wife named Babamon. They're a cute couple. I mean, usually, usually they're a couple. Well, sorry, but she's my little sister and I'm gonna get her to come back with me. Yes, yes, I understand that I will leave to you. I'm sure you'll think of something. What? You're not go going to offer to help us or anything? Am I not talking to taking you to the exit as we speak? 
Oh yeah, I mean, I appreciate that. And would you look at that? We talked for so long, now that we have reached the next step. Is it still a long way to the surface? Oh, it's not much further, but I'd better stay with you to be sure you don't get lost. Oh, having Jijimon lead the way was definitely the right choice. Yeah, we love Jijimon. Thank you, old man. Hang in there, by the time we reach uh, the end of the path, we'll be at the surface. Hmm? Oh, she fell. Yep. <laughs> Indeed a GG mon. I... are you alright? What happened? Oh, it was nothing, I just tripped. Sorry, I'll be more careful. It is kind of uh, hard to walk down here, isn't it? Miyuki, you watch your step too, okay? Okay... Yes, this area is prone to collapses. I am afraid it's aging rather poorly. Yeah, this place is pretty beat up, isn't it? It is, I remember the set of the school was a surprise, and this place isn't much better. I wonder when they built this park. Yes, well, it's been decades since we started living here. Wait, did you say decades? Is that a long time, Takuma? It's a super long time. Indeed, but the way time is reckoned here, in our world, maybe different than in yours. Still, by my recollection, this park has stood here for several decades. How does that make any sense? Who could have built this place so long ago, and how? How do they make them in your world? Well, it does use all the heavy machinery, and it's like a huge construction project. In other words, such places are not built in a day. Exactly, it takes years to build an amusement park. Well, maybe it's a mistake to think of anyone actually building this place. What do you mean? Like all sorts of crazy stuff happens in this world, right? So what if, to as an extreme example, this place just suddenly appeared one day? Because of some mysterious power. Doesn't that seem like how things work here? Uh, she's not wrong. You think the same thing happened to the school? That it wasn't built just but created by some strange power? It does seem possible. You've been around since before this place was here, right, Jijimon? Oh yes, why do you ask? Can you tell us anything about how it was made and how much time it took? Hmm, but first you must... First... But first you must... <laughs> first understand the nature of this world and how it came to be. The nature of this world? Another huge topic. According to legends, this world was created long ago by a su supremely strong being. You could say this being was like a god. Indeed, it was a god from our perspective. If this being created by your world, then schools and amusement parks would be easy. That could explain why that cable car was running too. And why the food and medicine was fine, even though the school is old and run down. So wait, you're saying this has all been the work of a god? Who else do you think could do all this? I mean, I didn't have anything in mind, but I never thought we were dealing with a god. I'm afraid it's not that simple. You see, this godlike being faded away long, long ago. And the current caretaker of our world likely wishes to reshape it into its preferred form. So he's saying the creator of this world and the caretaker are two different beings. Then maybe we're not dealing with a god, but still. Sorry, but I don't get it. Really? You don't? I, I thought for sure you were following all this. How could I? I mean, I don't see how any of this fits together. I, I didn't get it either, sorry. Nah, don't worry about it. This is beyond all of us. I see. Well, I'm afraid I can't explain things any more clearly than I already have. Ah, we appreciate you, Gigimon. Thank you. I'm not sure if I learned something from all that or if I'm more confused than ever. I mean, it's kind of easy to follow. Once upon a time, there was a god, he created the Digimon. And the world of the Digimon, or whatever they're called in this game. And then the god decided to leave, and he left behind himself a caretaker. And the caretaker tries to cater to the needs of the Digimon. Any means necessary. It seems like it makes sense. Agumon, you seem like you've been thinking things over for a while now. Uh, you're right, he does seem thoughtful. I guess the conversation was just that hard to follow. It's... it's funny! Hmm? What's funny? 
I wonder why. What is it, Agumon? Did something Jujimon said make you realize something? Oh no, I'm talking about this feeling uh, I got. You mean you haven't even been paying attention? Never mind that, what's this feeling of yours? Something around you just isn't right. Mm -hmm. Now that you mention it, I sense it too. Yeah, something is off. Oh, like what? I feel it too, but I'm not sure what it is. It's like, it's hard to describe. I don't like it. There must be something to it if you can all feel it, but what could it be? We don't really know. You think we should look around? Sorry, Takuma, but I want to get back to Mew as soon as we can. All right, we should do that. We can always take the time to investigate later. My bad, Kaito. Let's start by going back to see Mew. We are approaching the exit now, but don't get too far behind. Thank you, Gigimon. Oh god, no! <laughs> the bright light! It hurts! Phew! So this is where it comes out. Hooray! It's so bright out here! And it almost blinded me, Agumon. It feels like ages since I last saw the sun. Maybe it's been longer since we got dumped underground than we realized. Yuki, is it too bright? Bright. Oh, I must say, it's a little bright for me as well. So, what's our next move? We find Mio and get her to come with us. Yes, that's really our only option. You think we'll be able uh, to with uh, the way she's been acting? She didn't seem like she was interested in hearing any more from us. Mio can be really stubborn when she makes up her mind. She isn't going to want to listen. But what else can we do? If only there was some way we could get her to listen. Hey, what if we want over Sakumon? Oh, you mean get her on our side? Don't you think that would be even harder? But remember how Sakumon tried to stop Mio just before she activated the trap? It could be worth a shot. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I believe I'd better return to the castle. Wait, Gigimon. Yeah? It uh, sounds like you've been looking out for Mew. And you helped guide us all the, the way here, so thanks. Bonding! Ah, don't mention it. Alright, everybody, let's go pay Mew another visit. Takuma, wait. Ai, what's wrong? Yes, yeah, seriously, you look surprised by something. What are you looking at? Wait, what's this? It's this little guy's. Hello, wait, where is your friend? Wah! Wah! Help, I'm scared! The ones Mia said they were her servants? Hmm, well, it isn't Palmon and Patamon. They... have they been following us? I don't think so, they look terrified. Yeah, they seem totally panicked. Run away! Enemy attack! What? Hey, what's going on? Huh? Oh, it's you. Well, we've got bigger things to worry about right now. An even more dangerous group of enemies is here. What? Who is it? Who is that? The kidnappers! They're after the queen! They came out of nowhere, surrounding the park and pouring in from every direction. We faced them down back by the throne, but the queen's servants were all done for. You think it's them? It certainly sounds like a Rukenimon and Arminians. You've got to be kidding me. Talk about the timing. This can be happening. You mean we've got to go up against them again? So they're attacking in order to get to Miu? Yes, they're after the queen. But we shouldn't be standing here talking like this. We need to run away. Hey, wait! This is bad. Mio is in danger. I have to go save her. Wait, are you just going to abandon those poor little things? Didn't you hear? The kidnappers are after Mio. Yes, if they're after the human child, Palmon and the others shouldn't come to much harm. Rushing to her out in a society may be for the best. But, but shouldn't we at least come up with some kind of strategy? Here is the strategy, Shuji. First of all, we sacrifice you. Secondly, we kill the baddies. We need to get the lay of the land, figure out how many we're up against. Yeah, didn't they say Mew's servants were all done for? They may already have her, in which case we should prioritize our own safety. Wait, does it mean Biomon is dead? I have a feeling Biomon is dead. We don't have time to argue about this. Mew's life is on the line. But now, this is the worst possible time for us to be divided. Come on, there is no time, we have to go now. Takuma, what's your take? You've always got the most level-headed opinion. What should we do? I, uh... And I have to think this over. 
I do think it's probably best to pretend saving Mew, but then again, it's really dangerous to move with no idea where the enemies might be. So do we pretend he's gaining inter, or do we put our own safety at first? Takuma, Takuma don't just stand there, say something! We go rescue Mew. Because I think we're strong enough to defeat whatever is coming at us. I think our top priority should be to rescue Mew. Yeah, sure, but if this really is a Rukenimon again, she will offer Mew as a sacrifice. Once that happens, we're all too late. I'm with Takuma. But, Minoru, I realize you may be scared, but I will protect you without fail. Trust me. <laughs> I I'm not scared, I was just joking. Minoru is really shaking now. Takuma, Minoru, I owe you. Gigimon, thank you all for your help. We are going to hurry back for Mew. Not so fast, what about those two? Oh, it means Haru and Miyuki. Don't worry, my sister and I will keep up. Keep up? Hmm, no, I don't like it. I would better go with you. Thank you, Gigimon. Alright, let's hurry back to the throne room. Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna need your help just a bit longer. Save the child! Miyu, are you okay? Answer me! There's no sign of Miyu anywhere. Oh no, it's more of them. Oh, Biamon is alive. She's frozen. Hey, you, over here, there. Don't be scared, Biamon. I'm right here. Oh, phew. You guys really scared me. Where is Miyu? What happened to your queen? Uh, the queen isn't hiding. You mean she escaped? That's right, she, she took off real fast. Yeah, that sounds like her. She always has been good at running away. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I hope she's okay. For what must have been a snap decision, it sounds like she made the right choice. Yes, we still cannot not be sure of her safety. That's true. There is no telling how long she will be okay. I've got to look for her. Well, she might be fast, but she's still a kid. She can't have gone that far. So, do we set the pack again? We'll have to. It will be tough with all the enemies, but we gotta split up and find her. Under the circumstances, I don't see any other option. Leave this to me. I've got every inch of this place memorized. Thank you, Labramon. Let's go find Mew before the kidnappers get her. Hey, I'll find some, some way to help too. I'm sure you will, Lopmon. Haru, Miyuki, we'll need you two to help out again. Are you both okay with that? Yeah, we'll help. Help. It, if it starts to get dangerous, me and Takuma will protect you. Thanks, Agumon. All right, everybody, let's go. Saving Mew time. And maybe recruiting some new Digimon time. Okay, we already have this guy. Let's go to the woods by the park. There's something here, I can feel it. What do we have here? The shadow. Let's kill the shadow. Oh, record the shadow? Yeah. <laughs> Waiting. Oh, it's just Betamons. Okay, I'm just gonna kill them. Meramon, Angemon. Every Digimon that needs some level boosts. <laughs> Damn, Meramon has a nice ass. Can you reach anything? No. So wait. Wait as well. 
Can you reach? You feel like you should reach. No. So, wait. Oh, also there is a box there, so I'll just send Meramon over there. Since he's the closest. It didn't go straight for Meramon, so that's interesting. Anyways, let's kill this fella. Can you reach? No. Can you reach the box? No, not yet. Okay, okay, next turn. Yeah, murdered by poop. Oh wait, no, I mm, never mind. Can you reach? No. Okay, Angemon should be fine though. Yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. I think. I hope. I wonder if you can reach. No. Well, you just punch this guy. You can wait. And you can wait as well. Okay, kill the box. All purpose ointment. Nice. It is the salve from Ren and Stimpy. Okay, can you reach? Nope. But can we? Deltamon won't do any damage. God damn it! Like I really like Deltamon because it's strong. It's really strong, but it has such a shit reach. Anyways, uh, can you kill? Thank you. Some level ups. Also, the game is not being generous at all when it comes to like the Digivolution items. Like, I think we got only two. I don't know if it's because we missed anything or it's just how the game is. There, take a crisp apple. 
Like, I am curious. Nah, I can't digivolve you guys. But that's a shame. Not what I meant. What do we have here? A shadow. Okay. Just lots of Digimon to battle, I guess. Not that I'm complaining, you know. No shame in overleveling. Also, we might make new friends. I would definitely love to have a Palmon on my side. Any day now. This is kind of what ruins, ruins it for me, the loading screen. Okay, three Gizamons. We already have a Gizamon. So, I won't be recruiting it. And we will take you, put here, and we will take you. So, and if I'm not mistaken, we will have a box over there to my right. Right? Box? Box! Oh, it's behind me! Okay, bird, you get us a box. Can you reach? No, you can't reach. Bird is in charge of box. And you go here. You go here. Whoop! Can you... Reach? No. Oh well. What? A person can hope. Oh, don't cry, baby. I love how it uses the ears to shield itself. Such a cute touch. Okay, and we got a stamina crystal. Any more boxes? Nope. Okay, so we're focused on murder. Damn, it did no damage at all. Lovely! Boom, more like it. Still, I must say, Merriman has a very nice ass. Sorry, not sorry. You could say that Merriman has a hot ass. Get it? Get it? I'll shut up now. Nice. Can you do any damage? No. No, 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 no. You move here. And you wait. And Bildermon can join us pretty fast. You want the meatballs? Also, I'm not that hungry, but you can warm them and maybe eat one or two. Are you hungry? I think I overate when we went to visit my mom. And now I'm just mentally exhausted. <laughs> We're also in the middle of the move, so I am so fucking exhausted. Nice! Okay, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Love to see it. 
I really want a Digimon of some of those Digimon. I got them like since the start of the game. And like, they haven't Digivolved at all. Okay. You don't need equipment, but I'll give you a Clover Carrot. Here I am. Stamina Crystal. Do I have any other items I don't... Just laying around? Nope. What happened to the cat? Why is she crying? Castle Courtyard. Wh what happened to the little kid? Hey, Beamon. Hey, that's Beamon. She's in there too. Are you okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Please, I don't know where Her Majesty is. Please, no more. Beamon, hang in there. Uh, what happened uh, to the enemies? Nobody else was around here when we got here. What happened? Bad guys attacked us out of nowhere. They wanted to know where to find the queen. And did you tell them? No. I don't know where Her Majesty is, but she should be still inside the castle. Okay, got it. Thank you for telling me. Come on, Agumon. And Beamon, stay safe. Ah, uh, I will. Yo, sure, the dirt. Your heart, Beamon? Oh yeah, look at that. No, this is nothing. I I'm fine, really. What should I do? I'm pretty sure I have a salve. Should I use it? Then again, Patamon said he's fine. Maybe I shouldn't force the issue. It's not a Patamon, it's a Beamon. Fuck it, I'll treat the injury. Beamon, I can treat that wound. Let me take a look at it. A bat? No bats. Okay, good. A self should, would be able to help. No, this may hurt a bit, uh, but bear with me. Oof, that stings. The cat flopped. There, now you should start feeling better. Oh, thank you. We're going to get moving now, so take care of yourself, Beamon. Yeah, leave the rest for to us. Thank you, both of you. I hope it will help me in the future. Hmm? What's this? A potency crystal. Nothing left to do here. Don't tell me what to do. But I will use the potency crystal. Wait, isn't potency when you can't get your dick hard? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, poor Patamon. What happened to the little kid? Oh, poor baby. What are you all still doing here? I, I, I thought you'd be long gone by now. Hey, we're not about to run off while evil monsters are attack trying to attack, uh, get me. But aren't you all villains? No, that's what we've been trying to tell you. What? You mean it? Does, does that mean you'll help defend Her Majesty and her servants? Of course we will. Oh, good. Her Majesty should still be in this castle. She never came through here. Protect her. Oh, poor Patamon. Patamon, hang in there. Those woods lock all fall. I know I have a serve. If I use it, would that mean saving Patamon? But what if I use it now and then Agumon or one of the others needs one later? First of all, I have shit out of salve. I have so much fucking salve. There is no, this is no time for me to be stingy with salves. Hold on, I have some medicine for you. Where are you most hurt? Oh, but I couldn't. Takuma, right here. There is a bad wound on one of Patamon's forelegs. Got it. This may sting a bit, but bear with me, okay? Oh, but thank you. I promise. I, I, I promise you, we'll save everyone. Miu and Patamon and Biomon. Come on, Agumon. Got it. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, really nothing to do here. Okay, next we talk to Palmon. The biggest bitch of the group. What happened to the little kid? Oh, it smells great. 
קומה, look over there, it's palmon. No small the cofal. Hey, are you okay? You, what are you doing here? Looking for me, you. But your wounds, did the enemies get you when they attacked? Uh, they, they wanted me to say where her majesty was. When I told them I didn't know, they tossed me aside. I know those things are monsters, but how could they do this to such a small child? I'm pretty sure I have a salve. I could use it to treat those wounds, but I need to hurry on ahead. We treat the injuries. We help the children. We help the Digimon. No, I can't just leave the poor thing like this. Palmon, show me where your heart. I'll treat you with the salve. Oh, my leg. Right, this may sting a bit, but bear with me. Oh, yes? Oh, I'm sorry, but that should help you feel better. Whoever is attacking, they're vicious enough that they would even hurt a Palmon. If you don't save me soon, she'll be in real danger. Now we have to find Mio. So we'll be going on ahead. Wait, if you're looking for her, Her Majesty, you should search inside. You mean inside the castle? Right, I don't think she went outside. Got it, thanks. Ah, Palmon looks happier. What do we have here? Hmm, what's this? A vexing potency crystal. Nothing left to do here. Again, don't tell me what to do. I'll be the boss of that. Ah! Oh! Okay, let's use the crystal on someone. Do you have equipment? I don't think there's anyone here, Takuma. It has been that long since trouble started inside the castle. So you might not have made it outside. Then we should stick to searching inside the castle? Um, yeah, let's head back in. Ah, uh, oh. Damn, that's a good meatball. Cato. Has he learned anything, I wonder? Wait, no. Accident, accident. It was my accident. Wait. Hmm? What's this? Okay, so we can only talk to Kaito. Damn it, where could Mio have gone? Mio is pretty small, so she's really hard to look for. Can you think of anywhere she might have tried to hide? No, honestly, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I know I'm her big brother. Uh, it's okay. Just because you're related doesn't mean you have got some telepathic link. What do you know about it? Kaito, you don't have to snap at him. Yeah, that one's right. And Shuji, didn't you say something like that before? Oh yeah, well, I've got another bother myself and... Those of us never really got along. Shuji, no, no one can actually get along with you. Also, can we meet your brother? Is he more likable than you? I don't even know what to make of the expression on Shuji's face right now. Does he really not like his brother or is it because his brother is a real scary guy? Or could they rub each other the wrong way? Could his brother uh, be a disappointment? I admit, I'm curious. Hmm. 
Is that because your brother is really scary? Scary? No, no, I'm not scared of my brother. Uh, sorry, no, I, I wasn't asking if you were afraid of him. I was just wondering if he's rude or total hothead or something. Sounds just like Kaito. Oh, uh, bite me. They're perfect for each other. No, but brother is not like that at all. He's an incredible person, much better than me. Shuji, any person is better than you. Shuji, what's wrong? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Anyway, my brother and I don't really get along too well. You fight with him a lot? It never really came to that. He wouldn't sink to that level. Oh well, listen, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said you didn't know anything about it. But let me not. But let's not worry about me. We need to find Mew. Yeah. But how do we look for her? We don't exactly have time to comb every inch of this place. They don't, why don't we focus uh, on this inside of the, this castle? Didn't Palmon just tell us to go inside the fucking castle? What makes you think we should do that? It's up to the castle outside. I can think Mew would run into the middle of all that. So you're saying there's a good chance she's still somewhere inside the castle? Yeah, although it's just a chance. No, I think you're onto something here. So we are going back into the castle. Yeah, and as fast as we can. Yeah, Palmon told us go inside the fucking castle. Free battle against Edgemon. Okay, uh, let's go talk to Saki first. Is that Saki? Maybe I should say something. Hmm, what's this? Meat! Hmm, what's this? A bandage! I could say we technically found something inside the box. Saki. Whoa! Saki, are you okay? Yeah, sorry, I tripped over something and almost fell over. You have to watch your steps, Saki. The ground is all uneven here. I got it already. So, is this what you tripped over? Yeah, looks like it. What even is the thing? I'm not really sure, but why don't you hold on to it, Takuma? You never know when it might come in handy. That's true, I think I'll hold on to it. And I shall do so. Nothing left to do here. Okay, let's look at our equipment. Sure, you can hold them. Okay, let's see what we have here. Nothing interesting. Okay, let's speak for, with Minoru. Hmm, what's this? Minoru, what is it? Check it out, Takuma. I found this thing. That's not very descri descriptive. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but I bet it will come in useful. Acceleration charge. Oh, that's nice. Exactly, but we're lucky I spotted it. Good for you, buddy. I can't finish meatballs. I guess we'll have some for breakfast. Uh, yeah, we can do it with an egg. This is the thing I had about moving apartments. You have to find a way to eat all the food you have before it goes bad, or it will be thrown in the trash. Or also maybe do us a breakfast food salad with the pineapple and mango we have. Also, can I have a fork, please? Okay, next. We have Biomon. Thank you. 
Me, I think she's around here somewhere, but... Let's see. Do I have anything interesting to look at? Not really. Okay, let's talk to the random shit. The mirror past the throne depicts the view from the entrance to the park. The scene must be from when the park opened. It's faded now and seems gloomy. Robot. Oh, it's so cute, but dead. A toy robot on the ground by the window. Everything from the neck down is broken. I don't think it would be easy to fix it. Be a man. Yep! What do you want? I'm looking for me. Uh, you know where we, she is? Could you please tell us? I mean, she's deciding somewhere inside this castle. Can't you be more specific? Please, we have to find her before she gets taken away. We want to protect her. Want to tell us where she is? I, I've told you all I know, really. Uh, now I have other things to do. So could you leave here? I'll give you this. Just go. Amulet Acorn. Why does she look so angry at me? Uh, okay. Also, why is the music so cheerful? Aren't we looking for a friend who might be dead? You know, just saying. Ah, uh, um. Okay. First of all, let's go speak with Palmon. An interesting item is here, though. Hmm? Bandages! Anything else? No. Hey, Palmon! Uh, what are you guys doing here? Time to save me, obviously. Really? You're not just saying that so you can hand her uh, majesty over to the bad guys? No way! We wouldn't do that! <laughs> yeah, how come on saying the truth? So if you know where Mew is hiding, could you tell us? Well... Well... No, I'm not supposed to say, so I won't. What? But what if the bad guys take her away before we can find her? That would never happen. Nobody would ever think to look in a place like that. Sounds like she's hiding some unexpected location. Nothing left to do here. I don't beat the shit out of the plant, I don't know. And maybe then she will speak up. Ah. Uh, oh. Any interesting items here? No. Hi, Patamon. Oh, it's it's you. Perfect timing. Have you seen Mew? You mean Her Majesty? Right. We've been looking uh, all over for her, but can't find her anywhere. We need to find her before the enemies do. If you know anything that might help, please tell us. Well, she should be hiding in the safest place there is. Takuma, where is the safest place there is? I'm not sure. That's too vague. But we'll keep that in mind. Thanks. Maybe inside the treasure chest? No. Well, I've learned absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So we go back to the throne room. Okay. Weird. I could have thought me would be in here somewhere. But she's not to be seen. How many times do I have to tell you? There is no one here. Hmm? Mia's here. Where could she be hiding? Uh huh. Yeah, she's currently inside the treasure chest. I I'm calling it. I'm calling it. Wait a minute. What's up, Agumon? Wasn't the lid of this box open at first? Oh yeah, I think it was. Ah, I thought I heard something from inside the treasure chest. I heard it too! No, 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 no. I'm sure you just imagined it. Uh, fine. Okay. I'll do the whole song in that. Hey, Takuma, doesn't this place seem a lot messier than before? Yeah, now that you mention it, there is stuff scattered all over the place. That's because of me. I like to make a big mess. 
She won't make eye contact. And she seems really flustered. That's pretty suspicious. Also, before we continue, anything interesting? No. Well, there don't seem to be any hidden devices. Or any sign of Mio. No, of course not. Her Majesty is not hiding there. She's in another... Oh, I forget I said anything. Oh no, I don't think so. If you know where she is, you should just tell us. Well, I don't. I... I, I mean, technically she's not wrong. Okay. Let's break open the treasure chest. Why are you checking the treasure chest? What good could it do? Hmm, that sounds pretty suspicious to me. I think I see what's going on here. Oh yes, it's pretty, pretty obvious. We're just going to look around a bit, a, a, a bit more, okay? Yep, no, 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 no. No, she isn't here, and she's certainly not stuffed in some tre- uh, That was really loud. Uh, yes. Takuma, this is as about as suspicious as it gets. Tell me about it. Be honest, Mew is hiding in there, isn't she? The queen would never hide someplace like that. Now, all of you, get out! Yikes. Hey! Hey! The bird is pushing me! The bird is pushing me! That's rude. <laughs> She just pushed me away! Um, the cat scratches the cardboard. It's not for scratching, Chicho! Well, I'll tell you back again! This is the third time now, just give it up already! Why, is there some sort of problem? The shoes is I'm not supposed to open. Uh, she let it slip again. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. Right, so we'll be opening this chest. No! Thank you, Mod. It will be very big help for us tomorrow morning. And for the entire day, honestly. Oh, no, you opened it. Hi, Miu. And she seems upset. Was was she really hiding inside that treasure chest? We found the treasure! Mio, I already found you. And you're alright. Kaito, you came back? Of course I did. You think I'd leave you on your own with all the what's going on? Not again. Why do you always have to act so tough? Both with me and the little ones. What are you talking about? I've just been worried about you. Case is fine. Case is fine. I think she's fine. Uh, I skip an eye on her, you know, with all the move, she seems pretty stressed about it. But she'll be fine, you know. But tomorrow she's gonna have a field day because my mother is coming to help us and she is going to be not a fan of it all. Uh, ow. Thank you for full uh, mod. Kaito, try rephrasing. Look, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled like that. That was wrong. But I need you to listen to me, we don't have time to argue right now. What? Are you trying to fool me by acting all nice? Well, I can see right through you. Yeah. Please, would you just listen to me? No. This is just gonna tell me to stay with you because it's so dangerous. And try to take me away. Well, I don't wanna go. I'm staying here with Stiakoman forever. Mio, I don't think you understand yet just how dangerous this place can be. Yeah, there's enemies that kidnap children and this weird fog that's really scary. Well, I don't know what it's l like anywhere else, but this place is tons of fun. Not like the boring hick villa I was in before. Plus, there aren't any bossy people around. I'm surrounded by all these cute stuffed animal fingers, and they do whatever I say. You mean monsters like Jijimon and Palmon? Yeah, Jijimon actually listens to me, unlike my brother. And the others are all cute. I love it here. Boy, how deluded can you get? 
It may take some time to convince her of the truth. Her roof! Perhaps I shouldn't have humored her so much. Mio, you don't understand. There you go, talking down to me again. You are the one who doesn't understand, Kaito. You don't know how I felt about any of this at all. Mio, you need to cut this out right now. Why can't you say I'm just worried about you? There, you see? Why are you always so quick to yell at me? I I I'm sorry. This is why I can't stand you, Kaito. There, there, Mio. You must have been uh, very scared. Well, what now? We can't just come and walk this uh, out. We have to get out of here. Mew, I understand that you're upset with Kaito, but I want you to understand that we all just want to make you summer safe. Yeah, right. Why shouldn't I even care? None of you even know who I am. You are Mew. This has nothing to do with how well we know you. No, that really doesn't make any sense. And you go on and on about how dangerous this place is, but everything here is just cute. That's... there is a lot of big dangerous things in the world too. Yeah sure, at first I was pretty scared when that spider lady showed up. But then Siakoman came and saved me. Yes, dealing with someone like her was easy. So Siakoman didn't have any trouble with, with the Rukenimon? That's pretty impressive, still. Who knows what other monsters might be out there. Anyway, I'm not going anywhere. As long as I have Siakoman and the others, I'll be fine. Do you even know how much those cute little things you like so much are suffering? What? They all got her trying to stop the enemies attacking the park from reaching you. I think she got something stuck in her back paw, but she won't let me look. You can, like, catch her and bring her to me and I'll take a look. If this keeps up, those cute little servants of yours might not survive. Saki, are you sure that's not going a little too far? No, Floramon. She needs to hear the truth. Well, second more? Let me take a look at her paws. Shut up, cat. You, you are fine. Uh, this pose seems fine. Shh. Shh. She has like a little sand here stuck. Relax, I'm not hurting you. Hmm? The front pose? Oh, it's the problematic nail again, maybe. It's not as bad as it used to be. And uh, we need to cut her nails. <laughs> You're so dramatic! You're such a dramatic cat! Hey! Yes, I saw her trying to bite you! Chicho, no biting! Is she still limping? We'll just keep taking a look and if she will limp after the move, we'll take her to the vet. <clears throat> no, I think we need to be very clear about what st staying here could mean. After all, it will be too late once all of her monster friends are dead. What do you mean, dying? Parmon and Patamon got taken out? I, I don't be believe you, it's not true, I it can be true. They're lying, aren't they, Jijimon? Everybody's fine, right? Well... Miu, we are not lying. That's how dangerous these enemies are. No, it can be. This place is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be safe. Miu. What was that? An enemy attack? What's going on? The whole castle is shaking. Oh no, that can't be happening. Is the ceiling starting to fall down? This is bad, everybody outside. Miyuki, this way. Okay. We we'll better get moving too. What? No, wait. Mew, stop! Not that way! Look out! Saki? Saki! Mew, are you alright? <laughs> I'm okay. So, I think I sprained my leg. What about you, Mew? Are you hurt anywhere? N no, I I'm fine. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I hope uh, we won't have to re relieve the... Oh, Casa, I love you, Sin. That was fucking ridiculous. Only reason to sh watch Japan 6 is j j just to watch how stupid it was in the end. I really, really, really didn't like that anime. <laughs> Get away from there now. More pieces are falling. But what about Saki? Just go. I'll take care of Saki, okay? Right. We can't stay here. Everybody outside. Okay. Wait, don't tell me Saki is gonna die. Don't tell me Saki is gonna die. Shuji is supposed to die, not Saki. Everyone's still with us, right? We need to hurry out of the castle. What's going on? Why is everyone on the ground? I, I don't want this. Miu, that way, hurry. Are we just going to leave them to die? Everyone, watch out for the rubble. No, wait, stop. Everyone's falling down. We have to help. Miu, I'm sorry. I'd like to help, but we need to get out of here. But no. Yes, Miu, look at your friends dying. We are almost out. Everyone, be on your guard. Uh, even out here, so many of them are hurt. I, I, isn't this all my fault? Yes. Miu, close your eyes. Here, I'll hold your hand instead of Kaito. <laughs> yes, kid, it's your fault. If you can just get through this. The exit's just up ahead. We actually made it. Look, like we all got in, out in time. Saki, how's your leg? I think I can walk on it now. Thanks, Kaito. Nah, I should be thanking you. You saved Miu. Speaking of which, Miu, are you alright? Seems like she's having a hard time uh, taking all of this in. Anyway, we need to keep moving. Let's get out of here before some enemy monster... Oh, look, an enemy monster. Are those screams? Huh? Haru, what was that? I hear screams over the... That way. Don't tell me. Ah! Please stop! It's them! Palmon and Patamon! What the heck? Something's coming this way. Bad news, Takuma. Some really strong enemies are headed straight for us. My senses tell me these are no ordinary foes. There! It's them! Garurumon and Monzamon. Hmm. So this is where those fools with the human children have come. Pray. So much pray. These are the attackers? They give me the chills. What is this with those guys? Did you catch the look in their eyes? They got to be bad news. Uh, what? These aren't like the monsters I know at all. Mew, you stay right next to me, okay? Leave the children to me. Of course, the children are of no concern of mine. Oh yeah? We'll see about that, Mr. Big Bad Wolf. Don't you call me that! I am Garurumon! Uh, are you with Arukenimon? <laughs> I care nothing of trash like her. Now let's see, I think... You are the biggest threat. Oh shit! But how dare you! Garurumon just slept at Falcomon. I hear you have formed a bond with these human whelps. Uh, it's quite strong, watch out! Falcomon! <laughs> now let's see this power of yours. Let go of Falcomon! Oh wow, he's strong! Take this! What? I'm being pushed back? Uh, aren't you going to help them? Oh, I... I... Uh, why are you always so useless? Uh, no! What? Don't tell me. That's all you've got. I thought you were supposed to be strong. Now is my chance. These children are mine. Hey, back off. No, stop. Get away from me, you. You, you keep away from our queen. We won't let you take her. Save the queen. No, all of you, stop. Don't interfere. Ah! Youch! Gah! No, no, they're all suffering all because of me. Pathetic. We are not finished yet. We will protect the queen. 
No, stop. That's enough, please. You don't have to fight for me. Mew, what are you thinking? Get back here. So this is the child who escaped from an Rukenimon. I don't think so. Out of my way. Aoi? It's after Mew. We have to get out of here. Right. Mew, come this way. You're not getting away. Well, first you'll have to go through us. Bring it on. Harry, this way. But what about everyone else? Uh, they all really thought I was a sorceress. They fought to protect me. But I haven't done anything for them. You're the one in the most dangerous right now, so you'll need to hide in the castle for... Uh -huh. You're not going anywhere. You already beat Agumon and the others? Well, I, I won't let you hurt Aoi or Miu. Hmm. I barely even touched them. So pathetic. But what about you? Looks like you've got some fight in you. I'm not letting you hurt Miu. That's the spirit Aoi. So what if you're trembling? Leave this to me. I can handle this. Oh, is this what you call a dog fight? Oh, this is awful. I'm so scared. You should be. Not all monsters are cute and cuddly. Huh, pathetic. Nothing personal, kid. Huh, he's living. But the human brats, you are letting them go. I came here so I could crush the fools who bonded with the human children. I'm not on some stupid hunt for children like you and your friends. Garurumon, you traitor. Traitor, how am I a traitor? I've never been one of you. I'm not sure what's going on, but it looks like they're fighting. You, you think this is our chance to escape? I will take the child's sacrifice. Hey, you're not taking me anywhere. What can you do? You are only human. You will not harm our friends and partners. Hmm, don't you know when to stay down? You just got in the luck shot this time. I ain't done yet. Yeah, that's right. Well, at least you've got guts. Alright then, let's see what you can do in a real fight. Not just a contest of strength. Wouldn't have it any other way. I don't see any way out of this without a fight, but these two are crazy strong. If only there was something I could say to help uh, our partners uh, give their all. Hmm. Make a woman angry. How dare you pick on little kids like that? On girls! What? That's, that's not what is happening. Cows like you are the worst. Yeah, even I'm better than that. Lopmon, you're better than everyone. You're perfect. Me? A coward? Uh, he's getting, starting to get flustered. He may be tough, but he, he seems like the type to take pride in, his, in a fair fight. He's an intimidating opponent, all right, but here goes nothing. Ooh, is this gonna be a hard one? I have a thing it's gonna be a hard one. Will we get a new Digivolution? I mean, it could be really cool if we'll get a Digivolution. Hello, cat. Take this! Oh, he fucking punched the wolf in the face. What the fuck? Kaito is is like big dick energy. Huh. You call that an attack? That was nothing. Oh shit! Ugh, unbelievable. How strong is this guy? It's like a six foot uh, wolf. What do you think? What did you think will happen, Kaito? Oh no, Kaito. So, you are worried about what happens to him. Of course I am, he's my brother. I just don't like him being overprotective. And I hate how he never gives me any space. Uh, when he gets like that, it reminds me of things I really don't want to remember. And that's why you are so mean to him? Yeah, but he's still my brother. Only I can t do anything. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, over here. Don't worry, we'll go help them. What? Bah! Enough! Oh no, they're all hurt again. Sia, come on, help me, what should I do? They're all fighting for me like I'm really their queen, but I haven't done anything for them. Mio, what do you want to do? 
I, I don't want to let anyone to let my brother die. I don't want to lose everyone after lying to them. Oh, my brother, after fighting with him. I want to protect everyone else for a change. Second one, please save Skyto. Oh, I'm so happy you said that. Finally, you were able to be honest about how you feel. Siakomon, I've been waiting this whole time for you to be honest with me. Because when you wish for something with your whole heart, I can be as strong as you need. What? Siakomon, what's happening? You, I'm here to make your wishes come true. So for your sake, I will grow strong. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is she gonna turn into? What is she gonna turn into? Come on, be cool. Oh, yeah, that's a cool digivolution. I approve. I approve. I approve. This is a cool one. This is a cool digivolution. It's called Shelmon, I think. Okay, let's take Meramon, Growlmon, and Betamon for, you know, grinding reasons. And also, we have two boxes. Oof. Oh, and we have a Togemon. Well, first of all, we kill the box. Oh, another Togemon. Fuck. And this one is injured. You know what? Fuck it. We'll take the box. Comet Hammer obtained. Okay, you are gonna digivolve as well. What, do, what is horrifying? Shelmon? I think Shelmon is kinda cute. It was like one of the hardest enemies in like the anime. If I remember correctly. Okay, let's try to poison you first. Ah, we missed! Fuck. Oh! Shelmon helped! Thank you! I mean, it's a giant mollusk. Ooh. Oh boy, he can do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, you wait here. Can you kill? Almost kill. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Meramon, you as well. Punch him. Very nice, very nice. Okay, can you kill? Thank you. That's good, that's good, that's good. So far, so good. Meramon is down. Oh shit! 
Yeah, that's not good. And it can only raise defenses. Lovely. I mean, it makes sense. Well, this guy's down. But we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Ooh, not good, not good, not good, not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Kill. You can kill. Thank you! Okay, you bandage yourself. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Okay, no, you need an item. You need... Do I have something that can replenish HP and SP? Build target status of normality. HP, SP. Society restores SP. All purpose ointment. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, 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 let's take a bandage first. Gormon doesn't give a shit. I can't reach. Okay, you can use another bandage on this fella. Okay, 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 okay. Can you kill? You can't kill. But you can do a lot of damage. Okay, and you need ribs. Good, 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 good. Okay, okay, everything, everything, everything is working. Everything is working. But can you kill? Can you deliver a clean kill? Thank you. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. It's okay, we got Growlmon and Shellmon, so we should be fine. Damn, it has so much damage! Like, defenses, that is. Oh shit. That's not pretty, but we will manage. Can you help him? Yes, you can. You know what's the most horrifying part about uh, Shelmon? 
that it keeps the baby voice of Siakomon. This is truly the most horrifying thing. It still talks like a fucking baby. Maybe if it didn't keep the baby voice, it wouldn't be so scary. Okay, first of all, let's... Let's raise the defenses for now. Yeah. Strategy! Can you... Yes, you can. Okay, 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 let's take over your injuries, I'll take just... Mm, I think I have a big man, yeah. Why does this Belkin walk so much? Give me more ribs. Yes, I know, I'm fucking stalling, but I don't care. If it's stupid and it works, it's not stupid. Strategy! Punching me in the face. How much damage can you do? Please don't die. Well, we got our first game over. Okay, let's retry. On normal, and we'll just take the stronger Digimon and not the Digimon that need grinding. Which is a shame, because I wanted to grind. Uh, mod, is everything okay? What happened? The cat? <laughs> Do you need help with that? Come on, come on, come on! I don't like waiting! Yeah, 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 Nope, we can't fast forward it. Yeah, 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 Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, Labramon. Uh, no, I'll take Birdramon and I will take Agumon, my strongest Digimon, in my opinion. And we manage. Also, Labramon can heal. And if Labramon can heal, I can heal. Okay. 
の邪魔をするな Thank you. Is everything okay with the cat? Okay, give us this box. Comet hammer, whatever that does. You also did evolve. Okay, let's take care of Garurumon first, and then we'll take care of Monzamon. Ooh, nice crit! You also did evolve into Dobermon. Yeah, you, you will use the guard break. You also did evolve into Tyrannomon. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, 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 we can do, we can do. Ooh, not nice, not nice at all. Can you kill, please? Whoop! One down! And it was actually the annoying one, so I'm happy. You, can you take care of the cactus? Yes, you can. Just don't miss. Thank you! Cactus is down. Okay, take care of yourself. Uh, you defend yourself. You also defend yourself. Can you reach any of them? So you defend yourself. And dinosaur go kill a cactus or something. I like how it hides in the shell for the sake of defending itself. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. It actually uses its shell. It's the little things, I, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's take care of this Gotsumon. Oh, nice! Rude! And can you kill? Nice. Mm. 
Please crit. No crit. Oh well. We'll just do the funny song and dance with the with the giant cactus thing. Fun fun. Ooh, not nice. Oh, it could it can counter? Well fuck. You heal yourself. Okay. Okay, so we don't stay close to it. We attack from far. Okay, okay, okay. Strategy! And please kill the cactus. Thank you! Oh, Sanglupmon is fucked. Yeah. That's a shame. By the way, I'm not missing any boxes, right? No. Can you kill? Thank you! Not too bad, not too bad. I just wish I could have used my wicked Digimon. Grrrr! We did it! It was tough, but we took it down! Alright, we beat Monzamon. all nice and we didn't get an evolution crystal and it kind of pisses me off makes you think how really rare those evolution crystals are <laughs> bah the numbers were against me next time I won't lose the jerk Spots of some excuses and runs off. You think? He still seems pretty strong to me. I kind of feel like he lets us off easy. Hmm. Well, I don't like it. So you didn't think us worthy of fighting in earnest? You mean, you think he's actually even stronger? Our monster's going to keep attacking us like that from now on? Uh, I had to think what I, it would be like if, it came, uh, if he came for us for real. Takuma, are you alright? You look pale. Sorry, I guess I got lost in my own thoughts. What kind of thoughts? If I say I'm worried we won't beat Garuma next time, I, it might bring everyone down. I'm sure we, uh, they're already nervous about it. Maybe I should say I'm sure we will win. Then again, maybe it's that's irresponsible. To be honest, I hope he's some, someone we never have to fight again. Next time we meet Garurumon and his allies, we can totally take them. Don't you think that's a little overly optimistic? No, definitely not. I'm sure if we all work together, we'll be fine. That's hardly very convincing coming from you. Fuck you, Shuji. You slow us down more than anyone. Fuck you, Shuji. But you know what? I do feel more like maybe things will work out now. What reason do you have to for saying that? Oh, nothing specific, but hearing Takuma say it makes, makes me think that maybe it's true. Ah, yes, I can understand that. It is likely due to Takuma's natural charisma. I wasn't expecting anyone to say anything like that, but I guess I can roll with it. I think it's important to stay positive. At least that's better than getting discouraged. Yeah, maybe. It's weird, but just saying it out loud makes me think that maybe we can do this. Well, 
things were touch and go for a while here, but thanks to you, we're safe. It's been quite eventful since a rowdiness arrived, but you protect this place well. Thank you for that, human children, and our good queen. I'm I'm not really a queen. Just call me Miu. Oh no, then will you be leaving here to travel with your brother, brother and his companions? Yeah, is that okay, Kaito? It's more than okay. I'm glad to have you back, Miu. And obviously, I'll be going with Miu as well. Of course, even if I'm done being queen, I'll never be done with you, Sia, come on. Is, hey, isn't it great, Kaito? Mm. All you've ever talked about is how worried you were about Miu. Well, I am her brother, what do you expect? I really am glad we were able to rescue Miu. Yes, that takes care of that. Ready to go back, everyone? Go back where? Oh. To the school! Back to school. I mean, the closest thing we have to a home here. Yeah, that's as close as it gets. A sobering moment for everyone. When I said we should go back, I only meant we should return to the school, but it wouldn't wound up. But it wound up being a reminder that we can, still can't go back where we really belong. Why everyone looks so sad all of a sudden? They can't help it. Our and her friends want to go back to the real homes. Well, it would seem you all long to return to the, the world from which you originally came. Of course we do. I mean, maybe my life wasn't perfect, but even I want to go back. But but how can we? Saki, please don't look so sad. I'm sorry, Flormon. It's just I can't help it when it comes to this. Some ancient times, children from human, the human world have sometimes found themselves here. Apparently, upon certain occasions, the border between our two worlds grows thin. Hmm, what's that supposed to mean? Is it like a door that, some, that normally says sh shut occasionally swings open? Yes, I suppose that might be another way of putting it. So you think we may have wandered into this world while the border was thin? Well, you may not have simply wandered in, you may have been brought here. What? But who would bring us here? And now how? You mean Saki and her friends were kidnapped away from their world? I don't... No, I don't exactly remember being dragged here. Maybe it wasn't anything physical, maybe we got drawn in, or something. That could be it, after all, the world is nothing like our own. Haru, Mi Yuki, what about you two? Do you remember anything about how you got here? No, not a thing, not a thing. Oh, okay then. I guess all we can say for sure is that other children have come here before like us. Based on what Jijimon told us, yes. From what the professor said, if this is the world from the legends of uh, the Kemonogami, then lots of human children may have come over here over the years. So what happened to those children? Where did they go? Where did they go? Cotton Eye Joe. I would never have seen any humans before you and your friends showed up, Takuma. Yeah, me neither. But haven't we heard some monsters mention offering human children as sacrifices? I don't... That was just a wild guess or something. So, has this kind of thing been happening for a long time? Uh, that would be awful. Indeed. Those who kidnapped children have been around for longer than I can re remember. So you're saying human children have been coming here since the distant past? Only to be offered up as sacrifices by those things? As I understand it, they seek a way to save our world from the fog that is consuming it. In truth, every time those hands, which we call the Kenzoku, take in a human child, the fog lifts, the destruction ceases, and the space is swallowed up by the void return. Hmm. What are you all talking about? Human sacrifices? A fog that swallows things up? Right, I forgot. You still don't know about the fog. So what is it exactly? Nothing. You need to worry. It is way scarier not really knowing what you're talking about, so just tell me. She has a point. She has a point, Kaito. I think we should tell her what we can. Fine. But it's not like we know that much ourselves. All we know is, if you get swallowed up by it, you're gone. Gone? What do you mean gone? Like you die? Why? That doesn't make any sense. This is what is what we've been trying to tell you. This world is a very dangerous place. Yeah, one of us died and we completely forgot about him. I guess. I I didn't know about anything like that. Mew looks completely horrified. Not that I blame her, having just learned about this. Honestly, I'm not sure I'm over it either. I remember the dark arms reaching for Rio. Countless kids got grabbed by those things. 
Why? What's wrong with this place? I don't get it. They offer up children and what? I'm afraid I can offer you no explanation. You might say it's the work of our God. I'm saying I'm curious. What the fuck do they need children for? However, there are of course many who object to such methods. Take myself for instance. Already here in the park. Surely your partners feel similarly. You better believe it! I'm not about to let those losers get their hands on Takuma! I feel the same about Aoi. And that's how I feel about Kaito. But what you're saying is all the kids who wandered in here before. I can't imagine any of them survived. Were they all offered the sacrifices? As to that, I could not say. Human children do not appear often. Some are offered the sacrifice. Others just vanish. They vanish? I hear in the past there were those who could cross between dimensions at will. Oh shit, is it, are they talking about season 2 of Digimon? Is that true? I'm telling you, I don't know any specifics. I've never left the bounds of this world. But yeah, that makes sense. If the legend still exists in our world, there must be kids who made it back, right? Oh yeah. You're right, some kids may have made it back to our world. Maybe even some monsters too. If you think about the fact that legends of the Kimonogami exist, that makes sense! In other worlds, depending on what happens, I could go to your world, Minoru. Hey, that sounds fun! I want to see what your world is like, Saki! So there may be a way back after all? Indeed. In fact, I might have re even recalled something that may help you. This is something I once heard from a friend. There are techniques some humans know that can thin the boundary between worlds. Using this technique, some children were able to return to the human world. My friend who told me this saw the opening of the door between worlds with his own eyes. And they weren't just taken in by something, like those strange ghosty hands. Indeed, apparently this was something quite different. But how would this friend of yours know the difference? Those who strengthened their bond apparently gained a shared sense with their humans. They knew where their partners was, how they were feeling, and what others still live. Huh. So they could sense that their friends were alive and well on the other side of the door. So apparently this sense did not continue forever. So these friends of yours didn't stay with the human child they bonded with? Sounds like they didn't. I wouldn't want to be separated from Takuma like that. Agumon. Oh, now that I'm saying I don't want Takuma to go home. I feel like it's all like going back to that Digimon movie that you all should watch. If you like Digimon adventures, you know, like the closing the circle kind of thing. If there is a way back, I want to go with Takuma to this world. Yeah, I'd like it if we could go back together. Well, in any case, that is the extent of my knowledge on the subject. So you're saying that maybe, just maybe, there's a chance we'll be able to go back? Oh, what a relief. Yeah, man, this is great news. Mew, did you hear that? We might be able to go back. Yeah. Don't you think that's good news? I guess, but this amusement park was way more fun than being back in our world. Sounds like Mew has some things to work out still. But at least now we have a hope. So we really might be able to go back. Well, I think it's a, a little early to start celebrating. Uh, fuck you, Shuji. Hmm? What makes you say that? Jijimon explanation has been nothing but hearsay. Well, I've told you all I know. So you can't say if it's really true and you don't have any kind of proof, do you? I have a feeling that Shuji is a redditor. Like one of those that posts anything just to piss people off. Is the, well, actually kind of redditor. And I find this strange connection between a human and a monster pretty hard to believe. Shuji! You don't deserve Lokmon, you piece of shit! Shuji's inability to connect with Lokmon probably has something to do with that. Your points are fair, however, there is some evidence, some things I've seen for myself. Many times I've witnessed the strong bond between my friend and their human child. So it was long ago, and my memories have faded. Yet, that, had the child been sacrificed, my friend would not have felt well. Those were such strong bonds that they shared the same fate. That would be awful. And my friend still lives. This, is a, this in itself is proof that the child is alive somewhere. Probably an adult, with kids, and just moved on. I thought that might be the case. That must be why Konamon vanished along with Ryo. 
You're right. I've been so focused on losing Ryo that I never really thought about it. But Konoman went with him, didn't he? Yeah, poor thing. But does this boundary thinning technique really even exist? I don't believe it. It does sound too good to be true. You mentioned on using some special technique to thin the boundary between worlds? How? That is a question for one more familiar with the sacrifices and the border between worlds. Is there even anyone like that we can ask? The kidnappers likely know something. They have ties to the being who rules the world. You think we should ask the kidnappers? No way. Wait a minute, who is the one who rules the, this world? Individual not quite the same as our god or creator. It's little more than legend, but supposedly there is a being who rules the world. In other words, a caretaker of all creation, a being who protects and rules all. Perhaps if you were to appeal to that being, you might just get your wish. Look, stop filling us with false hope, okay? That story is even crazier than the last one. Bringing, bringing up this god or whatever doesn't help us at all. Perhaps not, but even if you can't speak with this ruler, what about this kidnapper? You want us to just ask a monster like a Rukenimon or Gaurumon what's going on? At the very least, they know enough to offer a child an, uh, on an altar and summon the Kenzuku. It doesn't matter what they know, asking them about it might as well be suicide. I agree, we were lucky to uh, live through what we did today. Maybe, but didn't it seem... Like the dog thing, Garurumon or whatever might tell us. Minoru, are you seriously considering this? Can you somehow have already forgotten how fearsome he was? But didn't that Garurumon guy basically ignore us? Yeah, and it seemed like he turned on that one who was with him. So you're saying that maybe some of them who will hear us out? I believe that is a real possibility. No way! It's easy to see why Shuji would be concerned with this. At the same time, though, it's not like we have any other leads on how to get home. So, do we poach Garurumon and the kidnappers in spite of the risks? Because it seems like the safest thing to do would be to avoid them at all costs. Then again, if we all do is run and hide, who knows if we will ever manage to get back. But are those really our only options? Maybe we could come up with some alternative. Hmm... Let's just keep thinking. Could there be an alternative that doesn't involve confronting the kidnappers? An alternative like what? I don't know, like maybe we could talk to Jijimon's friends directly. Unfortunately, I have no idea where my old friend might be. Uh, guess that's out. Maybe we could start by asking any monster if they know nothing, anything. Isn't it pretty risky too? Who knows what kind of monsters we might run into? Yeah, this world full of all sorts of monsters. Good, bad, peaceful, aggressive. I guess that's true. And since we don't know if any of them know anything, that's not a realistic option. So it sounds like our only real choice is to go to the kidnappers. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And now Kerman did say something interesting the other day. You mean how she called the sacrifices? That was pretty hard to miss, wasn't it? If this was destruction can uh, be halted by such means, a ruler must be involved. Therefore, the kidnapper may know much, much more about this subject than I do. Well, if they're all only need, we'll just have to make them talk. Now, won't we? I'm all for, kidna for, for sacrificing Shuji. Would you give it a rest already? You're already so quick to pick up a fight. I know, right? Kaito is such a thug. What other option is there? Okay, they may be scary, and they may be up to no good, but we can still talk to them. Maybe we can negotiate? Or something, I don't know. Nah, they are the type to listen to reason. We'll have to beat the answers out of them. You don't know that? Sir, but I'm with Kaito on this one. I just don't know where we can find them, or how we could make them talk. All we have to do is wait. They will definitely try to end, end kidnap us again, right? But if we wait for them, don't you think they will have us at a disadvantage? Yeah, that seems ill advice. And how I like to do things anyway. And with Harum, you can meet you with us, we should try to minimize our risk. My sister and I could wait at the school, we'll be fine. Fine. No, I will not allow that. Shut up, Shuji. Well, what if we took the initiative? Huh? How do we do that? Do you even know where to find them? I've got a pretty good idea. They came in from the north, which leads to the sea. And what do you think is beyond that? The sea? Oh, right, I forgot. This place is an island. Wait, you can't mean... Yeah, we just got across the sea to attack. But how? It's not like we've got a boat, let alone an airplane. Hey, what are those? 
They are different type of vehicles, boats float on water and airplanes can fly. You mean you've never seen anything like that before? Nope, never. Unfortunately, I can't say I have either, I doubt any of us has. Yeah, that's what I figured. Between the cable car and this theme park, I thought there were a chance, or maybe not. There are monsters who can swim, that stay by the water, but I doubt they would carry us. Yes, that doesn't seem very likely. Unless maybe, one of those monsters was a giant turtle that could carry us on its back. Of course, if it was a monster that swam underwater, we would probably all drown. So what do we do? Find a giant turtle Digimon? Ah, oh, I've got it. Hmm, Minoru? What is the it all of a sudden? I just had the best idea. What are you talking about? Remember how when we went to the dam, there was that place that went underground? You know, the door that had that crazy design on it? You think maybe if it went through, there we would come uh, out the other side of the ocean? Oh yeah, the underground waterway. Right, right. That's what we call it. Anyway, it's basically like an underwater tunnel. And I believe the directions do line up. However, the door was locked. Did you not say it would not open? Hmm, in that case, I hope this might be of some use to you. What a fucking coincidence! Mm, Jijimon, what's that? It looks like some sort of key. And hey, the pattern looks just like the one we saw on the door. The one who attacked this place had it hidden away. Ah, okay. I haven't the foggiest idea what it might be used for, though. This could be just what we need. Maybe we'll have to go check it out. Yeah, looks like we need, we know what our next goal is now. Yeah, looks like it. First we need to see if we can use the key to open the door to the underground waterway. Then, if it works, we can take the waterway across the ocean. That sounds like a plan. So is there like another map? I'm actually curious to know if there are more maps. After getting the key from JG1, we left the park and returned to the school. In part because it was too late to try the water away, but mostly because we were exhausted, especially Mew fell asleep just as soon as we got back. Her relief at having Kaito by her side again probably had something to do with it. As for me... Could we really go back? Takuma, you're not going to sleep? Oh, Agumon, sorry, did I wake you? Nah, I've been up. Something on your mind, Takuma? I guess you could say that. It's more like... Now that I know there might be... Really be a way for us to go home. I'm kind of excited. Ah, oh, so that's it. Everyone did some pretty lively dinner. Yeah, I guess they did. We know kept going on and on about finally being able to read comics again. <laughs> then everyone fell asleep not long after we ate. Yeah, they all worked really hard today. They sure did. But I think you worked harder than anyone. You do? Absolutely! You're really something else, Takuma. I'm proud to be your partner. Oh, baby! I don't know what it is, but hearing Agumon say that really warms my heart. Agumon is best boy. Well, I'm proud to be your partner too, Agumon. Oh, that makes me so happy! Thanks, Takuma! <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, that was so sweet. What are you two up to, staring at each other like that? Uh -huh. We were just talking. That's right. Uh -huh. If I didn't know any better, I would say you two had fun for each other. I don't know what you're talking about. Minoru, you have an odd way of expressing yourself sometimes. It is not one of your more admirable traits. Sheesh, all I ever get from you is lectures. Come on, give me a break. I'm just letting off some steam. Oh, were you having trouble sleeping because you were so excited? Bingo! Got the in one, Takuma. Way to go. The way you look, it wasn't hard to guess. I get it, though. Takuma said he felt the same way. Hey, Agumon, don't give me away like that. <laughs> Sounds like you're in the same boat. Well, who wouldn't be? We've got so, so much to hope for. But what if it doesn't work out? My man just keeps racing. Same here. Still, I really do think if we all stick together, we'll get through this. All right, Takua, put up a hand, as high as you, it will go. What? Come on, victory high five! <laughs> oh, Minoru, you sweetheart. Sweet, sweet, sweet child of mine. Victory, if you wish to raise your spirits for tomorrow, isn't that a bit premature? No way, we've got to get the info we need and make it back safe. Victory is ours. Yeah. Well, I hope that spirit gets both of you through tomorrow. 
I'm gonna give it everything I got too. Yeah, we'll be counting on you, Agumon, Falcomon. Now we had better get some rest, to be sure we have enough energy for tomorrow. Good point. And I think I'm finally starting to feel tired. Yeah, we'll head to bed too. Bromance! After all, tomorrow is going to be a very big day for us. Yeah. Touching, really. Chapter 5. Sniff. You're, you're wrong, you're wrong, Dad. Shuji, I suppose you must despise me. Nah, we despise Shuji. How could I, how could I have a father like you? Then you won't, why won't you demonstrate the ability to expect it of a Kayama boy? Next time, next time I'll do you proud, I swear. Don't try to push yourself, Shuji. I'll just work hard enough for the two of us. And you, shut up, brother, you don't understand me. Ah, fuck, Shuji. The feeling of a loser like me, how could you possibly understand? From the start, I didn't want to do it, I couldn't do it. Why didn't anyone say anything? If I can't do it, tell me I can't. If I'd known, then I wouldn't have had to do this. Why do you give up, Shuji? Are you truly my son? No, no, you're wrong, Dad. I think this is the chapter Shuji dies. I think this is the chapter Sh Shuji dies. Yes! And how exactly am I mistaken? I understand. I won't let you down. Really, please believe me. I can do it, just like my brother. I'm my father's son, after all, so I can do it. What the fuck are they talking about? Eh, don't look at me with those eyes. Don't be mad at me, please, I'll do anything. I'll work so, so hard, just don't abandon me. I'll make you happy, I'll work hard for you, Dad. No, no, don't, don't abandon me. What the fuck? Is that Shuji's father a mob boss or something? It, it was a dream? I see. Just a dream. Ah. Ah, Lopon is so cute! Wait, 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 wait. Yes. For my heart. Such a cute little baby! Why don't you change? I see. You're the same. Yeah, just like I was when my dad chewed me out and had to abandon me. Don't be mean to the child, it's asleep and adorable. Also fuck Shuji. After rescuing Miu at the amusement park, we went back to the school for a bit. From Juji one we learned that there might be a way for us to get back to our world. As for the way, we should ask an enemy out the out there who knows more about what's going on. We have to be ready before uh, we go asking questions, so we are all checking supplies. Have you found anything promising, Takuma? Nothing worth mentioning, how about you? Nothing over here either. I'm hopeless, aren't I? That's not true, are you? You're trying just as hard as everybody else. Thanks. We haven't found anything either, so don't sweat it. Right, what Agumon said. Oh, hey, you guys here too. Yeah, we couldn't find anything though. Any luck over there? None at all, I'm afraid. You'd think a school would have more useful stuff, huh? What's the deal, I wonder? You seen the others? They haven't showed up yet. Oh. Good morning, everyone. Morning! Ah, morning. Sounds like Shuji had a nasty dream last night. He must be pretty wiped out. Are you alright, Shuji? You look a little pale. Yeah, because this is the chapter Shuji dies! It's not spoilers, it's pretty obvious. You're talking all funny in your sleep. You have a nightmare or something? Bah, no, I'm fine. I, I slept like a baby, I swear. Still, you're not looking too good. I said I'm fine on my own. We have no idea what's going to happen. I can't leave you alone. Enough already, don't come with me. Hey, Miu! The store the same as ever. Kinda puts you at ease, doesn't it? Now it's not the time to sit back and relax. We have to stop them from bickering. What in the world are you doing? Uh, Shuji? Hey, you two. Your constant fighting is starting to annoy everyone. Shut up, this is family business, so stay out of it. You tell him, Kaito. Calm down, guys, and Miu, don't be so cruel to your brother. 
But I didn't do anything wrong yet. Those to get along in their own way, Shuji. Maybe you don't need to be so harsh. You say so, but anyway, stop arguing so much over nothing. Oh, hey, the gang's all here. Guess I'm last. Uh, did I miss something important? No, it's cool. Now that everyone's here, maybe we should see where we're at. Yeah, good idea. Let me take the lead, Takuma. It's all you. Humans are kind of intense, huh? If only all of them were as nice as Aoi. Nothing to be done about it now. Well, you can only have faith and watch over them. You sure about that? In other words, nothing worth reporting. This is bad, given the enemies out there. Those things want to sacrifice us or something. I don't get it. What is this character in the first place? Maybe that's the, be the one behind all of this. Probably like the king of all evil, right? I bet we'd figure things out if you met him. That means waltzing into the enemy's hideout? That's not risky, that's a death sentence! She's right, the idea is pretty frightening. What are you saying? You act like we got the choice. We got no idea what's going on. Our enemies, why we're being attacked, even this world. How are we supposed to defend ourselves if we're in the dark here? We are taking their door down and get them to spill everything they know. Hmm, well, you're not wrong. Yeah, I like, I like it. Jump right into the last boss. You are going to stay put, Mio. What? Why? It's obvious how dangerous this is gonna be. And you don't worry about us at all? Just her? No wonder she feels coddled to death. <laughs> now, now, everyone, just hold your horses. I can't let any of you just walk right into the enemy base. It's too dangerous. Oh boy, here we go again. You have no need to fear a certain degree of danger with us around, you know. Yeah, I'll protect Takuma. We've been through our fair share of crazy scraps after all. Their numbers ain't anything to worry about either. Easy pickings. True, true. It should be fine with all of these guys around, right? With their power, we, should have too, we shouldn't have too much trouble, I guess. Damn it, that's easy for you to say. Your beasts are strong. Anyway, I'm against this. There is no need to face such danger. There are other ways. This is our best option right now. Rush their base and get all the intel we need. Simple. This is going nowhere, man. We don't you... Why don't you try giving your two cents? Hmm, should we head the enemy base or look for another way? The first one is definitely dangerous, but it would be nice to get some info. The second means finding a, a safer way to learn about this world, but how exactly? Each option is, has its pros and cons. I don't see my, I see my opinion tipping the scales, but... Fuck it, we go the enemy base because I want to go with Minoru. Also, fuck Shuji. I'm with Minoru and Kaito. We should head for the enemy's base. Right on the money. Am I right or am I right? But that means we'll end up fighting, doesn't it? Isn't there a more peaceful way? I know we run the risk of being attacked, but we run the same risk by staying here. Besides, we're not going to there to fight. Just talk. If things get dicey, we can always run. Indeed, if it comes to that, opening up as an escape route would be a trifle for us. Yeah, I get it. Well, if that's the case, it can be all the dangerous, right? So that's it then. You're all just going to ignore me. Yes. Is it because my beast is weak? Because I can't fight? <laughs> peace, peace wasn't even a suggestion. Peace wasn't uh, even crossing our mind. Uh, no, we don't ignore you because your beast is weak. We ignore you because it's you, Shuji. We love your beast. We just hate you. I, I must be strong. Always strong. Always correct. I must guide everyone. And yet... Sh Shuji, are you okay? Anyway, we have enemies out there, so we have to fight. That means we have to work together. That way, we can all get home safely. Assuming there is even a way back home. I can't stand the idea of being offered up with no clue as to why. I'm going to go look inside the school again. All of you should consider your own plans. Uh, wait, hey! Sounds like he didn't find Jack either. You should watch your, your tone. Shuji is performing his duties quite admirably. Is he? Shuji is trying his best. Is he? Unlike me. Nah, you're doing fine, Aoi. You're doing the be your best too, Aoi. Have more confidence in yourself. Whatever the dog said. Thanks. Hey, Takuma, what are we gonna do? Our search takes priority, but maybe I'll talk to everyone and get the, big the bigger picture. You do whatever you want, Takuma. Okay. It would be nice if he actually knew something, but oh well. 
It's a gumon, head empty, no thoughts, only being a sweet, sweet boy. Sweet, sweet child of mine. Okay, first of all... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see some new Digimon we can try and recruit. So let's go for that first. Give me the new Digimon. Any day now. Hello, cat. Uh, let's see. First of all, we will take you because you can talk. And we will take Meramon. Wait. Wait, no, I want level, but I want ascending. No, I can't do it ascending. Hmm. Betamon, Angemon, and Gatomon. Okay, let's try to record the dinosaur. More dinosaurs! Okay, you... Oh, there are two here, okay. So we have... We, we might be able to actually do it. I might be able to actually recruit one. talking to one of them Urgh. waiting around makes me want to go crazy Agra, just uh, anyone else just gets in my way I have no idea what you are trying to say my dude I want to do nothing but fun things. You too, right? Okay, will you join me though? Yes! Yes, 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 first try, first try! Mo, did you see that? Did you see that? First fucking try! First fucking try and I recorded this guy. I guess you can't attack yet. But that's okay. We got a new Digimon so easily. Thank you, Mod. Oh, and I managed to confuse the dinosaur, so that's nice. Can you attack from above? No, you can't. So just attack from... No, just attack Betamon from the side. Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> I see you are very happy you managed to get uh, back the sounds and the stickers. Can you kill? Ah, close. <gasps> yeah! 
Motherfucker! Kill him. Thank you. Okay, so it leaves only one better one. Did he say this piece of shit? Motherfucker. Just a piece of shit. Anyways, I still got my own pet dinosaur, so I'm happy about that. And also all those very, very nice level ups. Those very nice numbers. Gotta love them. And I got bandages. Also, I got some items I should use. Uh, oh, and I can try to recruit again the spider. Which I think I will try to do so. But first of all, I think I got new equipment. Sure. And you can take this one. Do I have anything to give it? No. And you can take this. Do I have anything to give you? Anti fire. Okay, you're weak to fire, so you can keep it. Anything else? No. Okay, let's try to record the spider. Badger recruits all the Digimon. I also wonder how much do I have, like, out of, like, the amount that you can get. First of all, let's get a Digimon that can speak. I guess it will be Falcomon this time. Let's take Taskmon for grinding. Meramon, come here. Patamon. Poop Digimon. And Deltamon. I hope Taskmon is a decent Digimon. Also, two spiders, so it means I I may actually have a, a chance to recruit it. What is this spider's name? Dokugemon. I forgot about it. Okay. Okay, let's try to talk to one of them. Grr. Okay, can we recruit you? Rav. Please be my friend. Fucking hell. I swear to god those fucking spiders. I'll try to talk to the second one. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Uh, 
Let me just recruit the fucking spider, please. Oof. I'm fine. Can you reach? Yes, you can. Ooh. Okay, try talking to the second spider, will you? Me eat you, okay? Sure. Sure. A woo. Uh. Human no good. Uh. Okay, I'm no good, but will you join me? Please join me. Rar. Please join me. Motherfucker. Ah, shit. Why would you want to join? Wouldn't you join join me, Spider? Can you reach? Nice. Can you kill it with shit? No, you can't. Oh, maybe? Ah, so close. Can you reach? Yeah. And that's a dead thing. Okay, so far so good. I mean, I don't want to fight this spider. Let's go to the forest area. Do we have any cool Digimon there? Nope. Okay, before I finish, I'll just check the empty spots to see if there is anything interesting to look at. Oh, we found we found one one of the books. I continued on through the woods. What? Strange. The road should keep going past here. Shoot. I guess I'll have to head back the way I... But I turn around. Wait. What? How, how can this be? The road I came down is gone. This can't be happening. Even if this is the shrine's forbidden ground. It isn't big enough to get lost in. Damn. How could this happen to me? I was just looking for something to eat. Oh man. Okay. I just need to get down the mountain. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can survive on my own. There is nothing to be scared of. Papa went to fight in the war. Mama was in the house when the air raids sent, sent it up in flames. Is this what I think this is? Is this the story that I think it is about? With no one to turn to. I came out of this village in the sticks to, uh, to be with relatives. My grandparents were cold, cruel even. Made me fend for myself. I, I don't know if I can say it, but I think I know what they're trying to tell here. Like, the kind of story they're trying to tell. Other adults, children, all the same, they treated an outsider like me with disgust. Damn, damn their eyes. Why do they have to look at me like that? Papa fights for this land. Mama died protecting our home. And me? I'm doing everything I can. I'll get big and strong and become a soldier like my papa. So why? Why do you treat me like a burden? A shrine lay, lay at the end of my desperate advance. I'd always, cl I'd always climb this, the mountain on my own. I had nowhere else to go, and hunger clawed at me. Is this like... Is this the story to grave of the fireflies? The abundance of wild vegetables meant I never lacked sustenance. And even better, no one was around to bother me. The people of the village always... Yeah... The people of the village always said that coming in here would get you spirited away. 
but that's just an old wife's tale. Fine by me. What do they know? I'll live on my own from now on. I pass through the shrine. And I will uh, and into the woods beyond. What? <laughs> yeah. I think it means like being kidnapped by like but by like a spiritual thing. And there I try to spur myself on. Yet I can't find a path no matter how far I go. For heaven's sake, am I going to die without helping my country? Without every uh, with everyone treated me as a burden? Damn, I can't take it. I don't want to die. Papa, Mama. Hmm? What's that curious sound? I don't know the sound of it. But who is there? Uh, say, are you are, are you one of those human child children? Hmm? What? The blazes? What is a strange beast? Uh, are you a demon? We got 30 out of 117 Dig Digimon. Okay, I think that's cool. Like, clearly you can't get all the Digimon on the first try, but that's still cool. Like, that's a decent amount of Digimon. And very possible to get. Ah, huh, that's nice. I have no idea but here's what I think like the second book like the second book is like about a Digimon who found a child like a girl and how like they I guess they became partners and that child is like I guess World War II era child you know who reached the, the Digimon world I think it's like they're talking about the first like Digidestance like the first humans who managed to bond with Digimon. Oh, I found another book. Ahem. I somehow lost my way in the mountains while scour scrounging for food. Trapsing through the woods. I was just about to give up. When a cre queer creature appeared before me. Okay. It clearly wasn't human from the looks of it, yet it approached me, speaking my language. Well, well, what what are you, a demon? Stay away from me! Yapes! What's your problem? Stop throwing rocks at me! The demon pathetically defended itself from my stone, the stones I threw. Upon closer inspection, it seems pretty weak. Maybe it isn't a bad monster? So you don't want to eat me? Eat you? Perish the thought! I just want to be your friend. My friend? If a monster suddenly showed up talking about being friends with you, anyone would get scared, wouldn't they? But the strange thing is, I trusted what it said almost immediately. I couldn't put my finger on it, but one thing was clear. This creature was on my side. Alright, sure, I, I want to be your friend too. Honest? Yay, I'm so happy. So, uh, sorry about throwing that stuff at you. Uh, did I hurt you? I'm pretty tough, no worries. Still, it's nice to know you care. <laughs> Shut up. You've got a mouth on you, you for a monster. Again with the monster, monster. You've got me pegged wrong, you know? I will keep my opinions for myself. Excuse me? Hmm, don't think I fully trust you yet. I'm calling it like I see it. Oh boy. Well, what should I call you anyway? Me? My name is... Just like that, this strange monster judged me for a time. Strange indeed, but I didn't find it. It was on my side. For now, I'll head back to the village, show off my new friend, and prove to that lot who look down on me just how wrong they are. <laughs> I'm sure all of them will be blown away. Uh, I can hardly wait. That just means I have to get down this mountain this that much faster. So yes, I guess they are like the first humans to bond with Digimon. The Shadow. Please be the spider that I want to recruit. Or overall, just be a new Digimon. Please be a new Digimon. Please, I'm begging you, be a new Digimon. Please. Pretty please. Be a new Digimon. That I don't have. So I could recruit you. To my team. Please. I think I got all of them. Yes, I got all of them. Uh, 
Okay. Also a box. Okay, let's start the battle. Fox, you go and get the box. Fox in socks in box in mox in tox. Chocks. Locks. Rocks. I am a poet. Can you attack? Can you reach? Oh shit, you can reach. You have quite the reach for a small hamster thing. And you missed. Still, impressive reach. Dressing obtained. Thank you. Do we have any more boxes? No. Can you eat it? Please eat it. Oof. Okay, so far so good. Like, I guess you will have to attack from the front. Nice. And you attack from the back. Well, not much damage, but I'll take what, you, what I can get. Uh, Digivolving won't help you, I think. Nah, I don't think it will help you much. Oof. Uh, but yeah, this one will be fine. hot chicks even bigger roof sure I'll punch you again okay can you can you kill please Thank you. Okay, can you at least kill the Betamon? No. I really need to digivolve Patamon. He's really kind of weak, to say the least. Can hit? Thank you. Oof. Thangmon, can you kill? Easy. 
Easy! God, I love this Fox Digimon. I'm glad I managed to recruit it. Oh, shit. Lama, no! <laughs> oh, baby. Sure, talk. You sure are a talkative Digimon. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Please kill. Thank you. Boom! Strategic strategy, y'all. Y'all. And we got a pineapple. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Here, you can have the pineapple. Okay, I think we finished here. Return to the school area. We'll just check the areas that are empty and then we will call it a day and we'll do the free exploration next time. But yeah, let's check if everything here is um, clear. Hmm. Giant mushroom. Chris Apple. Yeah, this is what I want to find in the urinal. An apple. Okay, let's just give those items to our Digimon. Specifically Taskmon, so he could catch up. I'm kind of curious to see the revolutions. So, he can turn to Mega Sidramon and Triceramon. Actually, curious about the bottom evolution. I have like a feeling I know what it's gonna be. It's really cool. Then we have this guy, which I guess I'll go the usual Ikakumon Zudomon route, but I don't see that we have Vikemon, which is a shame. I have no idea what you're gonna turn into, no idea what you are gonna turn into. Uh, this one I'm kind of also don't know what I wanna evolve into. Maybe Wendigmo? Wendigomon? Godsmon also needs to evolve already. Maybe to the spider since I can't recruit this motherfucker. Well, Garmon will evolve into this guy and then into Gallantmon, so you know. Mm, Blue Meramon, I guess. Oh, that's cool! Angiemon can turn into Angie Woman. We stand. We, we, we stand. We stand, whatever that means. We love it. And you can turn to Angemon and Magna Angemon. So, I mean, we got option Monzemon and Monkey. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I turn you into the Sea Serpent. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I want to evolve uh, Fangmon into. I really love Fangmon as Fangmon. Super useful Digimon. Oh, you can turn to Taskmon. That's cool. And Patamon can turn into any of those guys. And I guess I will turn you into Garudamon, because Garudamon is base Digimon. So yeah. I think I'll call it a day. We did some progress, we finished the chapter, we said uh, fuck you to Shuji, which is the most important part of the stream. Keep telling Shuji to go, to go fuck himself. 
And I think that's about it. I think we will call it a night. We'll call it a day. We'll call it a night. We will call it. Thank you for joining me. And have an awesome, dosome, bosome, possome, badger night. Bye-bye.